In the coffee art today, I'm seeing a pyramid and people trying to climb up the side, try to scale the side with some rope. Maybe that's predicting the future where I'm climbing up the, uh, the football pyramid here in America. But probably not. Here is breakfast. We have three eggs over medium with some uh, some hot sauce. We have some strawberries, a banana, an orange, and then my latte. So this is like the most typical training day I ever have. We have training in the morning, team training, and then afterwards in the afternoon we have a gym session. So kind of a double day. I never know. I never really call these double days. It's just like gym in the afternoon. It's like one and a half day. Um, I always think of like a double day is actually like two sessions. But we have two workouts for today. Yeah. I have like 10 minutes before I need to leave, so I'm just getting some Scarly Wiley time. I'm watching Inner Miami Philadelphia Union game from last night. Messi's just unreal. Uh, I got asked like, what are my thoughts about Messi coming to the US and to the MLS specifically, and it's just, it's amazing. I think the hype around the MLS, the hype around Inner Miami FC games are selling out. Uh, I think it's only gonna be good for US professional football and uh, Hopefully that even comes down and trickles down to the USL and lower leagues as well. Yeah, woo! So I'm gonna finish watching the highlights of this game. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm gonna hang out with Scarly Warley for like, uh, for like five, 10 more minutes and then I need to go. So I'm just leaving for training right now. It is 7.50 in the morning. It's gonna take like 20 minutes to get there. We've got some rain today, which is gonna be great because we have a really tough day today. It's like Wednesday, middle of the week. So this is where we get majority of the work done. This is where we do like more larger space possession stuff um, and also play. Like we'll probably do 11 v 11 game today. And if we don't do 11 v 11 game, it's gonna be like five a side tournament or something like that. So this is where we get like majority of the workload for the week done. So it's nice that the weather is kind of cooperating for that. see Messi yesterday, huh? Yeah, it was a good experience, man. Yeah? How was it seeing Messi? It was good. I, I, I think I could beat him up. Yeah, yeah. You know, but he... Yeah, I mean, I think that's my announcement. Like, I, I could fight him. Yeah. I have to be comfortable. You think he's good, or...? Oh, he's the best. <laughs> I just finished training. It was a very good session. Uh, it's tough, like I said, but I thought it was really, really high quality. Kept the ball well, good tackles, it was intense. So it was perfect. Um, had lunch, like you saw in the locker room. And we had to go and do like a little Q&A for a, a kid's camp out here. Now it is 12.15. We gotta drive over to the gym, do our little workout in the gym. It's pretty quick, it's pretty short. It's gonna take probably 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and that's it, then we're done for the day. So just gotta get up the energy now for the gym session and, uh, and then I can relax. <laughs> Session complete. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. I am dead, but uh, yeah, feeling good overall. 
after the gym session is super nice um, at our uh, at our gym we have like a sauna steam room showers everything so after the workout popped in the sauna with some of the boys nice cold shower afterwards and and now you know I'm feeling great I'm gonna drive home and then it's just uh, chilling and recovering for the rest of the day <laughs> Um, we got this big playpen because now she can crawl. So she's been crawling around everywhere. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you can crawl. So she can crawl. So now we got to actually baby proof the house. We've got like the gate on the stairs that we're trying to build. We got the playpen down here. Um, she's eating food now. You're eating real food. So she's growing up fast. It's crazy. I mean, they say it's so cliche about how fast kids grow up and everything, but like, yeah, she's almost seven months. Tomorrow, today. Wow, today. Today, she's seven months today. So it's just insane how fast it goes. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, you're excited for like the next step. Um, yeah, it's almost time for the Manchester City game. So we'll throw that on in a bit, but I am very tired after uh, um, just the, all the workouts and training and 11 v 11 today. So I might get a quick little power nap and then uh, throw the game on and just chill for the rest of the day. Gotta cook some dinner, maybe grill tonight. We'll see. How's your day been? Um, good, just cleaning up. Oh, she just <laughs> dropped a ball on my <laughs> Just cleaning up, laundry. Preparing for your parents. She took a three hour nap, I she guess, did. today. And you slept through the whole night. That means tonight's gonna be terrible. No, 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 no don't put that on the There is a jinx thing, like a, a superstition with parents that I've seen where you you don't talk about how well they're sleeping because then it always flips. Yeah. So you don't, like, don't even say it. As soon as I said her sleep training's been going well, she had, like, the worst two, three nights in a row. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, their hardware's a little chunky, but... It wasn't the best punch away from the keeper, this. Didn't get any height on it at all. Only slightly weaker side, bloody up. Okay, got a package that I'm gonna open up on camera for you guys. I'm guessing that most of you know what this is by now because I've worked with the man who sent this over a few times now, so. Matt, enjoy the vapors. Made in Bosnia at some of Nike's best factories. Hopefully these can get you to the next season. Best, Charles. So, um, Charles Holt from Holt's Boots sent me out another pair of Vapor 11s. If you guys don't know, these are my all-time favorite boots. Everybody always asks or tells me, like, upgrade your boots, try something else. I've tried lots. I've tried Pumas. I've tried Adidas, like the X's. I've tried, you know, even the new Vapors. And they're okay. I like them. Like, I can wear them if it comes down to that. But Vapor 11s, are, in my opinion, the perfect boot for my foot. I just love them. I don't even have to break these in. I can literally throw these on tomorrow and play a full 90 minute game without any blisters, any problems at all. I love the red colorway too. Um, this is fantastic. So thank you so much to Charles Hall. I mean, he's sent me out countless vapors over the years and these are just getting so hard to find. So I just really appreciate him doing that. This video is not sponsored. Um, I did get these boots for free. He sent them out to me, but yeah, I did not receive any uh, any money for this promo. If you guys are in need of some retro boots or older boots or even just current boots at a very discounted rate, I would highly, highly recommend going to his website, haltsboots.com. He has some really, really great deals. He gets like boots at like wholesale prices somehow. He has like all of his sources and gets like quality boots at like a fraction of the of the retail price. So if you guys wanna check him out, I'll link all the stuff in the description. Charles, thank you so much for sending these out. I can't wait to uh, to break these in and uh, wear them in a game here soon. Amazing, thank you. All right, so it turned out to be a pretty nice day. So we're gonna sit out here in the uh, little back patio and we're gonna barbecue. Little? <laughs> the big back patio. <laughs> also shout out uh, to the guy who handed me this shirt after the Pittsburgh game. Um, Looks great. Mimi stole it already. But I uh, really appreciate it. Really cool. Thank you. Here's what I'm going to barbecue. We just got some uh, some seasoned chicken, just kind of marinating a little bit right here. Got some corn on the cob, and then we'll just have some rice, which we'll cook in the rice cooker inside. All right, for you uh, golfers out there, let me know how my, my swing's looking. I'm definitely a better soccer player than a, than a golfer. 
That's not saying much. Hey, pretty girl. Will you button her pants so she doesn't look like a slob? <laughs> of course. I couldn't imagine if people on YouTube thought she looked like a slob. Oh, I spilled butter on my pants. That's surprising. <laughs> well, here's dinner. <laughs> Chicken thighs, rice, and corn. Uh, pet boss, Matt, at it again. What do you think? How's it look? Have you tried it? No, because I'm filming you, so I haven't really tried my food yet. A little bit of- but it looks good. A little bit of animosity in that statement. I don't think so. No? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I like just looking at my food. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it is 9.30. We just got Scarlet asleep. They're gonna know her. Look how cute that is. Butt up in the air. <sighs> She's been sleeping like that lately. I know. So now we're gonna watch a little Netflix for like 30 minutes before we go to bed. I got my extra creamy chocolate ice cream from- No, just regular chocolate. Oh, it's just regular? Yeah. I'm gonna watch uh, Down for Love, which is a Netflix series about um, people with Down syndrome like falling in love. It's like a dating show. It's awesome. It's just like the- It's uh, like, what is it called? Love on the Spectrum. Love on the Spectrum. It's the was, same like producers. Yeah, that was really good too. So we're gonna watch probably like 30 minutes of this and then go to bed. We just started sleep training with Scarlet like a couple days ago. Probably like maybe a week ago, and it's uh, it was hard. The first like night was hard. You don't think it was hard? Well, no, it was. But like when you say hard, it sounds like it's taken a while. It took one like one night. It was hard. really quick. It worked really fast. Yeah. But like hearing her cry for an hour straight is not fun. Yeah. It wasn't straight. We went in there every two and then three. What was the method four. called? Werber method or something? Ferber. Ferber. We did the Ferber method. So but we started at only two minutes of crying, uh -huh. and then three. Yeah. And then four. I think she went up to like five or something. But six. now, like, we just kind of plopped her down when she just gets a little tired and she just kind of like cries for like 30 seconds to a minute and then she's out. So, yeah, pretty good. We're just best parents ever. It's really easy. And now I'm going to end the vlog. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.